Hi guys, for those who don't know, I'm Georgia from Georgia's Cakes and today Lola's Cupcakes has invited me down to their bakery to give you a behind the scenes tour to show you how these incredible cakes and cupcakes are made. So come on and I'll take you behind the scenes. So just like any bakery or kitchen, health and safety is key. So I have to be head to toe covered to make sure no germs or bacteria go into the bakery. Right, fully protected, so I'm ready to go through. Lola's Cupcakes started in 2006 and have been in this bakery for six years. There's over 20 stores over London and Birmingham and they have a website taking over a thousand cake orders a week. So let's see how they're made. The first stop on our tour is the dry ingredients room. This is literally any sugar lover's dream. Just look how many chocolate and sweets are there. I literally can't control myself. There's 150 boxes just of Oreos. That is pretty exciting and a lot of Oreos. Over here, we've also got condensed milk that they put into their buttercreams and cake mixtures and tons of sprinkles. I get really excited around sprinkles. I don't know why. I think I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Um, so I definitely want to see what's inside some of these sprinkle boxes. There are just bags and bags of all sorts of different color sprinkles. Look at these boxes. You have to have this many when you're creating 2,700 cakes a week and up to 75,000 cupcakes. For those who know me, you know how much I love butter. But Lola's goes through nearly 100 tons of butter a year. Think of how much butter that is. Um, I'm getting way too excited, so I might move away from this corner. <laughs> So as well as creating hundreds of cakes for shops, Lola's also offers a personalization service and therefore every cake is personalized whether it's color, shape, size and therefore you need as many colored cake boards as possible. Round, square, thinner, fatter and as many colors possible just to suit every single cake. This is where all the cakes and cupcakes are tried and tested before hitting the shop shelves. And some of the designs are actually done six months in advance. So this is Alice, head of product development. And we've got some beautiful cupcakes in front of us here. So what are you doing now? We're working on Mother's Day and Easter. Amazing. And these are some stunning cupcakes. I can see that you're experimenting with like new piping techniques and new toppings. Um, are you trying out any new recipes at all? Uh, we're working on vegan brownies at the moment mm. to create a bigger range so yeah. that there's more options for. I've tried the brownies and they are delicious, but I have a thing with veganism. Um, I'm not against it, I just feel like you have to use eggs and butter. Uh, what do you put in the vegan brownies and cakes to replace them? Um, I guess, so the eggs are there for uh, to bind things and to raise things. Yeah. So we replace it with other moistures like coconut yogurt, we use soy yogurt, and there's a raising agent just to create that lift with yeah. baking powder. Oh, nice. And how often do you get to kind of experiment and try new things out? Every day. Every day? We try, you know, we try to make things better, um, you know, better quality, different ingredients, try and make things as free from as possible, mm -hmm. um, and just keep changing things so to keep up with the market. Amazing. Now headed to the baking room and I can already smell the sponge cakes from here. This is where all the sponges are mixed and baked and also this is where the icing is prepared to. I'm literally in icing heaven right now. These mixers hold up to 80 litres which means that these guys produce over 80 tubs of buttercream a day and they are really heavy. It's a good workout. <laughs> um, but we've got some beautiful colours here as well. We've got the baby blue here, is green. I'm thinking that you've already gone through 300 kilos of cream cheese just today. So you get the idea of how much buttercream these guys make. There's lots of chocolate around here. This is for their chocolate ganache. 
which they also use as an icing for their cakes. So it's a mixture of chocolate and cream. And they're just heating the cream now, then mix it, and the chocolate melts into it, and it is absolutely So these guys work all afternoon and through the night baking all the sponge cakes so they're fresh for the next day to be decorated. It's nice and warm over here and that's because I'm standing in front of 17 gigantic ovens and this is where all the sponge cakes are being baked. So on a quiet day they only make 200 cakes but then in the afternoon is when they make all their cupcakes and their personalised orders too. So they also make these peas cakes and there are some that have just come out of the oven and they smell delicious. This is something that Lola's do to reduce wastage. So especially with their red velvet cakes, which dome slightly, they cut off the excess and then they sell them as cake cookies. And I don't know about you, but I have to try one right now. Mmm. Because the top of the crust is slightly harder, it actually tastes like a cookie. So it's a really clever way to reduce waste. And this is my favourite room of the bakery. It's the cake decorating room where over 500 cakes are decorated every day. Taste testing. <laughs> All different shapes and sizes. There are some cute animal ones here which look adorable. And the bakers are actually using bowls of hot water to clean their palette knife to make a really clean and neat job. The cakes that are personalised have a personalised message on top which the bakers use chocolate or buttercream to write on. Actually, writing in buttercream is one of the hardest things to do, so these bakers are really skilled. This is the rosette cake. Now, the rosette is probably Lola's signature style, and even though it looks simple, it's really hard to master. So it took me a few tries until I got a perfect rosette. These guys now are working on their personalised orders. So Lola's have designs already and then people can add a little personalisation message or a few extra cupcakes or different colours. So each cake is completely bespoke for the client. There is so much buttercream in here that it's actually hurting my hand to mix it. But look at that colour and it is so fluffy. So we've seen the cakes being decorated and now we're going to the cupcake decorating room where hopefully I'll get to try some out myself. So welcome to Cupcake Central, the happiest place on earth. You can see here miles and miles of cupcakes. On this side we've got regular cupcakes. Here they call them tiny cupcakes, which is their name for their mini cupcakes, which is really cute. And then on this side of the kitchen, they use to decorate their vegan cupcakes, then move on to red velvet, which is their most popular flavor, and then move on to the cheesecakes later in the day. So let's go and see how they're decorated. They've trusted me with trying out some cupcake decorating, so I'm going to fill my piping bag with some cream cheese frosting to decorate some red velvet cupcakes. And I am using an open star nozzle. It's number 846. All nozzles have a number. I'm going to fill up my piping bag. The first cupcake I ever tasted was in fact a red velvet cupcake from Lola's. And I remember eating it thinking, I can't believe cake tasted this good. This is probably about 10 years ago. And look where I am now, I'm gonna ice some myself. Just gonna squeeze a bit to make sure there are no air bubbles. So the guys here decorate cupcakes really quickly and so I'm not promising anything, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I've got my cream cheese frosting, the red velvet cupcakes here, and then to top it off, they actually use some of the sponge for sprinkles. Wish me luck. And I'm gonna reminisce about eating that first cupcake about 10 years ago. So it was this exact flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I think my cupcakes look good, so I'm gonna leave them there. And hopefully they'll get sold. <laughs> so here we've got the bakers finishing off the tiny cupcakes. 
There are over 30 flavors of cupcakes, so really hard to choose because they're all delicious. And over here, they are decorating the cheesecakes that we saw coming out of the oven just before. So unicorn cupcakes are probably this year's favorite cupcake trend. And these ones are absolutely gorgeous. They've got little horns, ears, and a few rosettes as the unicorn's mane. And they've let me try one. And this is my favorite thing in the world. It's edible glitter in a bottle. Should we see if my cupcake is good enough to sell? How is it? Perfect. Will you sell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! <laughs> so once the cupcakes are decorated, they're headed into the room behind me to get boxed up and ready for shipping. So this is where all the cupcakes get packaged and you can see how many boxes there are in here. Hundreds of boxes come out of this room a day full of customer orders. And here we are just finishing off some personalized ones. These are a personalized order of animal faces and they're presented in this beautiful box. All have locations marked on the side to know where they are heading off to. So this is where we say goodbye to our cupcakes. Cupcakes are boxed up and ready for the store. Now they just need to reach their destination. So I'm gonna head outside to the Lola's Cupcake Van. I've been given the keys to the Lola's Van so I'm gonna be able to drop these cupcakes off myself. So I've had an amazing time seeing behind the scenes at Lola's Cupcakes and now I'm off to deliver these cupcakes. I hope you enjoy the tour and I will see you soon. <laughs>